In this sequence, I place two clips. You can send either single clips or multiple clips to Motion depending on which clips are selected before choosing Send to Motion. Let's send this fish clip over to Motion. But before we do, we should answer this question. Why would we want to do this? Generally, you send something to another app because there is a feature not found directly in Final Cut Pro. Or if it is in Final Cut Pro, the app you're sending it to does a much better job. Here's a case in point. Select the fish clip, then press Command J to bring up the speed dialog. Change the speed value to 20% and click OK. Now play the clip back. Because of Final Cut Pro's less than stellar frame blending, speed changes below 50% generally make the clip look mushy. The good news is, Motion 3 now includes several choices of frame blending, including Shake Celebrated Optical Flow technology. But more on that in a minute. To send this clip over to Motion, right click on the clip and choose Send to Motion Project. The Save dialog will appear. By default, the name of the sequence you are sending from will appear in the Save As field along with the standard Motion Project extension. Let's enter a new name. Here, I'll enter Fish Retime. The two checkboxes at the bottom of the window tell Final Cut Pro to do two things at once. Automatically launch Motion and embed the project you are about to save into the sequence you just sent it from. If you do not choose Embed Motion Content, Final Cut Pro will leave your sequence intact and create a new sequence labeled Fish Retime in your browser. Let's leave the checkboxes enabled and save it to your hard drive. In Motion, the project is open and the initial speed change you applied in Final Cut Pro is retained. Press your spacebar to play the clip. To apply some of Motion 3's new timing features, click inside the canvas to select the clip, then click the Inspector tab in the Inspector. Make sure the Properties tab is selected, then click the Disclosure triangle to reveal the timing properties. As you can see, all the original timing information is presented here. You can even choose to override the constant speed setting and apply a variable speed setting. If you send a clip from Final Cut Pro that has variable speed applied, the variable speed timing will be retained and appear in motion. The real magic happens using the frame blending dropdown. By default, the blending option is checked because that's the only option available from clips sent from Final Cut Pro. A new option, Motion Blur Blending, applies a slight motion blur algorithm to the blended frames. The best option, if you want your speed changes to look incredibly smooth, is to choose Optical Flow from the menu. As soon as you apply this option, Motion shifts into high gear and begins analyzing the clip. A spinning motion analysis indicator appears in the lower left of the transport controls. If you double-click the indicator, a background task list window will appear, and if there is more than one clip being analyzed, it will present you with every task currently in progress. You can stop the task at any time by clicking the tiny X button. If you close the window, you can always reopen it. Choose Window, Show Task List. Optical Flow can take some time depending on the source material. Optical Flow is an algorithm that analyzes every pixel to determine its directional movement. Then instead of blending the frames, actually invents new ones based on the differences of the pixel positions from one frame to the next. Pretty incredible technology. In order for your changes to appear in Final Cut Pro, you'll need to save the project. Now toggle back to Final Cut Pro. In the timeline, the original fish clip has been replaced by the Fish Retime Motion Project. The clip appears with an orange render bar over it, indicating it's a real-time clip, albeit an unlimited RT effect. You can attempt to play this back on a fast machine, but with optical flow, you'll want to render this clip to see the results. If you need to make changes to the motion document, simply right-click on the motion file in the sequence and choose Open in Editor. The project will open in motion, and you can make your changes. Don't forget to save your project, otherwise any changes you make will not update in Final Cut Pro.